Hey there, welcome back. It's John with SharpenedArtist.com. So we're on, what is this, day four? Wow, um, just daily, some daily videos, and we're building on the things we've been talking about all week. So I talked to you about that linear stroke. I talked to you about light pressure. I talked to you about an extremely sharp point on your pencil. Uh, the reason why it's different from hatching is because it's very tight linear strokes. And so if you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to uh, the video from yesterday, and I'll have a link to that in the description down below. But what I want you to do is watch this sped up uh, time lapse of uh, me drawing this portrait, and I'm using the linear stroke. Sometimes it's a short linear stroke, but most of the time it's just that longer linear stroke. Um, this was only done in a few hours, and I used water on part of it as well with oil based pencil. Yes. You can use water with oil-based pencil. And I used it on UART sanded paper, 800 grit. The other interesting thing about it is that when you uh, are applying that linear stroke in this way, and then you just move your hand just slightly and uh, keep applying that linear stroke, then it becomes very smooth. It doesn't look like lines. It starts becoming like uh, this smooth gradation and so that's the reason why i suggest using it uh it's quick coverage this only took a few hours to complete this um this project and for those that are part of the sharpened artist academy in particular in the water course this is one of the projects that the, they're getting in there um and it's not sped up at all so Inside the course, you get to see every single thing that I'm doing. I don't speed up my videos, not even when you pay for them over in my courses. I show you every single thing, and I make it a methodical process from start to finish. And I talk to you about the reasons behind the choices that I make, because I think that that helps you to become the best artist that you can be if you know how to think more and more like an artist on your way uh, developing as uh, the artist that you are and developing and honing your skill. All right, so we're almost done here. I hope that that was helpful. I hope it made sense. I mean, you could see some of the development of this process. I know you couldn't see everything, but I just want to get this in here and make sure I got this over to you tonight. Um, the thing is, I'm using that linear stroke. I'm doing exactly what I'm preaching. And this is the way I process through drawings now. Drawings don't take near as long when I'm using that process, especially when I'm using sanded paper like this UART 800 grit sanded paper. I'm using oil-based pencils. I'm using water. 
in order to speed up that uh, rendering process. It's a lot of fun uh, doing it this way. It's very quick. It's very intuitive. Uh, and you can do it too. I remember just uh, trying to find all the information that I needed and just scouring the internet, trying to figure out which tutorial I needed in order to piece all of this together, piece mealing together uh, information from books, from tutorials, and from uh, things that I picked up on. And so that's exactly why I created the Sharpened Artist Academy, because I take you through everything that I do step by step. And I talk to you about why I make the choices that I make. I don't cut anything out. I give it to you in real time. You get the option though of speeding up the video. There's a lot of different settings. You can speed it up however fast you want. You can even slow it down if you want. You can replay them. I think it's the perfect way to learn to be able to have that now at your fingertips, to be able to create your own personal transformation in your art development is something I didn't have when I started, but I'm so thankful now that those tools do exist and that I created this methodical process. It's fun for students like minded artists and fellow artists alike to come over there and to learn and to grow together. I hope you have enjoyed that. Uh, I enjoyed delivering that to you. If you're not on my email list yet, I would highly encourage you to do that. We've got a big announcement coming up. So just uh, look at one of the links down below. The Color Pencil Learning Roadmap is a great one to get involved in. Uh, if you get that workbook, it's a good step by step and tell you exactly where you need to be on your artistic journey in color pencil art. If uh, you're just starting out with it, it gives you outlines just like your first 90 days. And then we go even beyond that and just talk about your process uh, and things to focus on during your development as an artist. All right. I'm going to go ahead and stop with that. And as always, stay sharp.